today. And now we're back. Okay. There we are. We had a really smooth first two worlds. We're gonna... You know what? I totally forgot that I had a frog suit, and I'm really glad that I forgot. Because then I would have used it for this level. And I wouldn't have grabbed this firepower. See, I actually kind of lied. There are a couple uses for this in this game. So pretty much any water world, you're gonna want this. But I don't know, I guess that's just how I play, I'm weird though. Maybe you like using them the fire flower all the time, always. And there's nothing wrong with that. We're gonna try to hit it in this top corner. Oh, um, I told you, the only thing I'm actually consistent, good at consistently hitting to those stars. Alright. And fuck this level. Pretty much, remember when I was a kid, I used to say, anytime you heard this music, shit was about to happen. It's like, it's not the song you want to hear. I mean, it's a great song. Oh man, that would have been a star had I not fucked up. Oh. Oh, fuck me. Shoot your damn fireballs, and there we go. I'm not gonna lie, I thought I was gonna get my first death in that level. Ooh, another one of these things. I love how anytime you flip a card, you get that item that makes me happy. Oh, flower, where are you at? Where are you at? I know where that mushroom's at. This might be a one. This is either a one up or a flower. Oh, it's mushroom. Fuck, where's the mushroom? I want to say it's here or here, but I don't think they put them next to each other. Oh. Fuck you, dude. Oh yeah, frog suit. <clears throat> frog suits are damn near worthless once you get past this world, though. I'm honestly surprised that I only have a row and a half. Because I never. I, I rarely use these things. Uh, let's go ahead and use the flower. Oh, fuck this level. Fuck. <laughs> God, it's gonna disappear. No, no, it's not. Oh, fuck yeah. And it's gone. Any good that came out of that was fucking... Yeah, I killed the fish and cleared the way to the flower. Bah. Fuck me. Damn. And I thought that there was a sliver of hope that this would be a deathless run. That's okay, though. It... My first death wasn't until 3-3, that's actually kinda, it's actually really good. Well, I mean, I don't know, anytime I want to say that I'm doing good, I compare myself to all, like, the world record speedrunners I watch, and I'm like, I'm nowhere near as good as that, but... Oh. 
Let's still pretend that I, I'm pretty good. So if I say I'm doing pretty good, it usually means that I'm doing pretty good for... for me. Alright, go on. Go on, you fucker. Okay, I can do this. There we go. Die. There we go. Alright. Yeah, you can tell I'm, like, focusing when I'm quiet. Ooh. It's hard to be upset about a death, though, when I have 23 lives. Luckily, why did I use a star? Fuck, I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. Now that I know he has wings. Oh, come on. Yeah. Yo, the Red Bull would explain it. Oh shit. Fuck you. I really thought I was gonna die again, honestly. Yo, I'm so weird about my items though. Like, I just let them kind of build up. And then, um, like, I'm the guy who tries to save all of his items for like the final boss. And then I don't even use them on the final boss, because, uh, I don't know, I hoard my items. Always hoard my items. And I'm addicted to lives, like... I feel like I could always have more. Really? Nothing? I think it's the fourth one. It's either the end or the fourth one. Or they can be pricks. They don't give it to you every time, but... Every once in a while they'll throw you an item in there. Now, to a casual player, they would done try to bust out the hammer right here, but that's a stupid idea. I think 4 is gonna be a level, like, 3. No, cause like, the world 3 with the stupid fish and the moving blocks, there's another one like that. I think it might be six or seven, though. Five is really annoying, but I have a frog suit. And... I don't see myself using frog suit to pass this level. I think later on there's maybe a fortress or two where you actually are underwater, but that by that point... Maybe if I knew exactly where they were, I'd try to conserve the frog suit, but I don't care. I am just trying to make world... <laughs> oh, fuck. So much for the frog suit. I'm just really trying to make this world as painless as possible. I really don't like this world. You know, and it's not even that I don't like it. Like, I do enjoy this world. I think... I love all the worlds in this game. They're all unique and... You know, it's... None of them are really repetitive or anything, but... I just think they're, uh... I've just never... 
been a fan of underwater worlds, they always seem to be a little more difficult. And I wouldn't say it's the hardest world, but it's definitely up there. Definitely up there when it comes to annoying worlds. My personal favorite is World 5. I've always loved World 5, even as a kid, and it was so fucking hard when I was a kid. But... There we go. But, World 5, it was just so unique in its cloud world, and it had two separate parts. That was like the coolest thing about it, was it was a two-part world. And, and the transition between the two worlds was like this, are you fucking kidding me? God, I would just suicide in that world, but... Uh, I don't want to suicide because of my flower, and I'm not going to waste my cloud. I sure as hell am not wasting my cloud on World 3. In fact, I'm going to try not to use the cloud until I get to World 8. Actually, in terms of difficulty, like, I don't know, 5 is pretty difficult, but the first part of it is actually not that hard. The second part is a little tough, but because of that, I won't put it up. I can't rank it that high on the uh, difficulty list. But, 5 is definitely my favorite, but in terms of difficulty, uh, definitely World 6, just because I hate ice levels. Oh, outran my fireball. Yeah, World 6 is actually really one of my favorites, but it's so hard. Like, there's a lot of unique monsters in that level, and, uh, but just lighting around on ice is so fucking annoying. Like, 7? World 7's really awesome, too, except... Uh, some levels are difficult. Like... There's a couple of difficult levels in World 7, but... But the ones that are difficult are really difficult. But there are a few easy levels, that's why I can't really put that up there either. But personally, I would rather do World 8 than World 6. World 8 is actually not that bad. And in case anyone noticed, um, before I jumped into this level, I thought about going the other route with the boat, but I was actually in the middle of talking about something, and I wanted to give a little bit of an explanation before I went to the boat, so... I wasn't ready to talk about it. Here in a second I'll elaborate on why 8 is so easy. Oh fuck yeah, card game. Boom, 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 boom. Oh. That's a 10. That's... That's a 10. That's a flower. That's a something. Woot! Oh, really? I got him fucking backwards? I could have finished that off, too. Anyway, like I was saying about the hammer, you don't want to use it over there, you want to use it over here. 
because you get three mushroom houses and two matching games. Or two, yeah, I guess matching games. Oh shit, I just realized that my Twitch is almost up to 300 views. So, you know, uh, keep it up, guys. I always go from the middle, by the way, if you haven't noticed, or if I didn't talk about it earlier. Actually, sometimes the mushrooms are your safe bet because, like I mentioned earlier, you have your star and your flower, and between each of them there's a mushroom, so you actually have two mushrooms, a star, and a flower, so you have a 50% chance of hitting a mushroom. Oh, fuck, I fucked it up, I knew it. There we go. But, like, I was going to elaborate on World 8, why it's so easy. I'm going to kind of give a breakdown of it. Um, you know, while I'm actually doing Stage 8 of World 3. Here it is, I knew another level like this was coming up. Alright. Oh, come on. No. Not today. Shit. Sometimes playing this level, playing this game with the control stick is not all it's cracked up to. It helps out most of the time, but then you have shit like that. Well. If you're like me, you spent most of your time in World 8 because you warped there as a kid. And once you finally warp there and you're like, oh my god, I'm awesome because I got all the way to world 8. But deep down you knew, you fucking knew that you probably weren't good enough to be there. And you knew there was some major shit about to hit the fan. So, the first thing you encounter is tanks. And you're like, oh, this is... And then you play that level with all those fucking tanks and you're like, oh my god, why? Why didn't I just play through the game? and get better. Also, one big incentive to going warpless is um, all the items you'll collect throughout the game. Well, I mean, if you end up using all your items and it's not really going to be much to you, but um, like you'll notice I'll save my key wings to the end. Because in World 8 you have a tank level and a boat level. They're both moving levels, and I don't even care. I'm just gonna mash buttons here. I got 20 buttons. And yeah, do I need to beat that fortress? No, I guess I don't. All right. So it's. Actually broken up into three into four parts. I'm sorry, four parts. The first part is um you know, I was actually thinking world eight isn't that long, but now that I think of it in four parts, it's actually it's actually kinda long. I guess world eight's about the size of a normal level, but Okay, so you have the both the tank levels, the moving levels. And everybody should know what those are like. Alright, now... The second part is you'll actually have... 
this area where you come across five squares. Three of them are levels, two of them are not, but the first, third, and fifth squares are levels. And now they're not always mandatory. I'm not a sure exactly what determines which ones you have to go into, but as you're crossing them, fuck, 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 as you're crossing them, a hand will pull you down, and it'll make you run that level. Unfortunately, the levels are really quick, really fast. I think you could probably beat them all in maybe 20, 25 seconds. And at the end of it, you'll get a leaf. You'll get a leaf for your troubles, and you'll go on to the next one. I remember as a kid, I was so afraid that the hand was going to pull me down because I didn't want to do the levels. But... Oh. As I got to be older, uh, we're gonna frog suit just to get just to fucking use it, just so I don't go in there small. Like I would always be so terrified that the hand would pull me down and fucking I'd die on that and I'd get my game over. But as an adult, I realized that I actually go through and do all three of them anyway. Like, they're all short. They were much harder when I was a kid, but looking back on it, those levels are fucking easy. They're like the easiest levels in the game, damn near. I don't know if it's, they're so easy because they're short, but... And, well... Now, when I do them, it's because if I do play with warps... Um, I'll want to get the leaves from the level. Because, you know, they're really helpful, especially if you have no items. <clears throat> but once you get past those levels, you get to... Okay. Now, on all the other worlds, you'll notice all the levels are actually numbered. Once you get to the third part, you'll actually start your numbered levels. And there's only two of them. And they are both... Oh, I didn't check if there was anything there. Oh, Windio, you whore. Oh, shit. Oh, I just showed Windio my O face. Want? Alright. <laughs> like I was saying. You'll actually start the two numbered levels, which are really difficult. But if you do them just right, you won't need P wings. I mean, I could play through them, but I don't want to. Kind of a waste of time and unnecessary deaths. I'm not that good. Not good enough to run them flawlessly yet. So you can just fly over them. And if you didn't save your P-Wings, you can actually do some tricks. Like, when I was 13, I found out that if you ran really fast in this one room, hit the tunnel while you were at full acceleration, you could come out of it flying and pass through the whole level. Because there's not really any room to... Uh, any room to accelerate. So, save your P-Wings for those two levels, and then you'll have one more tank level once you enter part four, and then Bowser's Castle. Um, if you've saved your items, you can do them pretty well. The tank level, if you have to use a P-Wing, or you just happen to have an extra one, you could use it there. The boat level, you can swim under it. If you've never played the game before, it's, I'm talking foreign language. If you have, then you kind of know. And you're probably wondering why I'm saying it's easy, but once I get there, I promise you, World 8's fucking easy. And I got another, uh, another music box. I don't really use these things.